Hey, it's Jordy here for Cinecon.net, and one of our viewers asked me how to make motion blur inside Premiere Pro. Now, before I start, I first want to say that you normally would do this inside After Effects. Let me just go quickly to that because you have a very simple function by just clicking one button in After Effects, and that will enable motion blur on a text that you have animated, for example. Now, in Premiere Pro, we don't have that option. So we have to create it ourselves. And unfortunate, we can't find any motion blur effect in our effects library. But there are third party plugins if you would like to use them. Right here, I've just done a quick Google search, and they have this trailing blur, which uh, simulates that motion blur. But I also found this website here, Film Impact, which also has impact push and I've heard in a forum community that uh, this should also work as uh, motion blur but they cost some money I believe uh, between the 50 and 100 bucks uh, for just uh, a couple of these plugins but there is a workaround to do it with any third party uh, plugins and just using the built-in effects here in Premiere Pro. But first, let's take a look at the thing that we are going to add that motion blur to and that is this animation right here. So Cinecom is going from the left to the bottom right. And in your effects library, you actually want to search for the directional blur. And that's the only effect that we actually have to use. So just drag that onto your effect, select it and go to your effect controls. And from here, we can change some parameters from that directional blur. Now let's start from the beginning here. And I want to add some blur length. And we're going to leave it like this and animate the direction for now. So what I want to do is put up a starting direction to where does the blurriness has to go to? Well, look at your path, look at what the animation does. So in the beginning, it goes to the bottom. So the direction is already pretty well. So let's start a bit further where it's taking this turn because at this point, we actually want to keyframe the direction of the directional blur. So I'm going to create a keyframe stopwatch here, enable that for the direction. And as it takes that turn, Go a bit further until it's horizontal. And here we can change that direction. And I'm just going to move that like somewhere around minus 90 degrees. And right now you can see that direction uh, moving. If you can't see it too much, you can for sure just increase that uh, blur length so that you know or see what you are doing here. So here you can see changing already. Apparently my computer is having some trouble. Um, so here it changes that direction of the blurriness. That is perfect. And here it goes up again. And there we have the Adobe Reader crash. Perhaps that was the thing that was uh, messing with my computer here. So uh, we're going a bit up here again. And uh, so for that also, I'm going to change that direction just a tiny bit so that your lines are actually more in this direction here as it's going up. And then it's going down again. So at this turn, again, we're going to change that direction so that it points down. And when it's all the way down, we're going to move that even more until we are almost straight. This is something organically that you have to look at your animation, at your path, and see that the direction follows. So um, that's it for the animation already. As you can see, this is looking pretty nice. But of course, it's just way too much motion blur. If we are taking a look back at After Effects here, uh, we are seeing just a minor motion blur uh, for somehow the same animation and this here is calculated automatically. So we're going to add the same amount to that head back to Premiere and uh, from here I'm just going to like decrease that uh, blur length just a tiny bit six or something that would be sufficient. But let's go to the ending because at the end we don't see any motion blur anymore as it's sitting still. Uh, so we want to animate that as well. So somewhere right here on the ending you want to create a stopwatch for the blur length as well and go the, to the all the way to the end and put that on zero. So now when we are going to play that clip, you would see that the uh, motion blur also ends over there. And the blur length is also something that you have to play with. If your text is moving faster, or slower at certain points, then you would also like to animate that blur length together with the direction. So let me display this again. This is looking pretty okay. So this is a quick tip on how you can add motion blur to an animated text inside Premiere Pro. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, stay creative.